Oh, it's the start of a new day and a new potential of positiveness starting today. Hopefully everyone is doing well and welcome your faces back to a brand new vlog where you're tuning in to see what can happen next. And today it is Saturday. Oh, beautiful Saturday as you're watching this. 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, hopefully you are having a lovely evening and whatnot and uh, you're tuning in. To see what we're going to get up to today on my random weekend of shenanigans. And uh, we've got some things in the pipeline today. And hopefully, there'll be some fucking positive. And you might be asking, why positive, Dane? Why positive? You're always quite positive. But I was just going to say, this week has been fucking shit. <laughs> it's just been fucking one of them weeks, you know. You have one of them weeks. And you know what? You just forget to the end of the week. Nothing else can surely get any more worse. Things fucking do. But I'm not going to tell you about that. I'll tell you later on in the vlog why my week's been so shit. But first off, I'm starting my day off as I always do. The kettle's on and I'm ready for a cup of bloody coffee. And I think if I'm right, we should have something in here which should make my day a good start. Let's clear this in. Oh, there he is. Oh. Peanut butter crunchy. That's gonna make me a happy boy. Right, I'm starting World War Three right here. In the comments down below. Crunchy or smooth? Always crunchy. If you like smooth, we got problems. I'll eat smooth if I have to, but crunchy is the way you have it, mate. Yeah, crunchy all the fucking way. I hate the people who say you can't have bits in your peanut butter. Well, I say you fucking can, and you should have it. You've got to have the nuts in your mouth. Oh, well, there we are. I'm looking a bit more fresh now. I look like a shit this morning. Um, but yeah, I've just had a shower and whatnot. I had a shave and whatnot because of what we're doing today. Uh, which today we are going to be going out to visit someone about decorating the wedding venue, which is basically the main thing for a wedding. So we're going to be go, going there today. Talk to the woman about how Kirsty kind of envisions her vision for the wedding. I'll give my input sort of thing because I don't have no taste. I, I don't know if it's the right word to use, but I have no designer instinct. So I wear very like black clothing and stuff like that. So design and stuff is not my my thing. But I shall be going along to kind of experience it. Um, and also comment as much as I can. Um, because once again, it's going around someone else's house. So... We shall see, we shall see. Um, but that shall be fun, uh, kind of experience to do. So that is one positive for today, where we're going to be getting that done today. So that's going to be a, a, one, one, another thing, kind of tick off the list of wedding stuff to sort out. Um, telling you, mate, telling you, lots of things in the flow now for this year. It's like getting all the wedding stuff flowing is really like systems are go sort of thing. So it's really amping up the closer we get even though it's still like a good couple of months away still but as we get closer closer more things will be happening um then nothing will happen then it'll be, just, it'll be the case at the end of doing all the final payments <laughs> that'll probably be like the last like i think it's already i think it's like two weeks before the actual wedding or a month you pay everything then payments are all done and that so that's kind of like the tail end of it all really which we're finding out of it because at the minute you're just paying deposits then after like at the very end that's when you obviously pay for the whole thing for the main day so yeah that will be um fun when we get to that so i was saying about like why my week's been just so shite so it's so more like this week work's just been stressful life is a bit stressful at the minute um like other cold sores like in stressing that a lot but the one thought i was like you know we'll get the friday and everything will be perfect and sorted how, how i was wrong the car has to stop decided to start playing up so what's happened is with the car it happened uh yesterday where I dro we drove to work the car st was stuttering basically uh which i like shouldn't be doing that that's awkward it's basically brand fucking new drove it did it a couple of times didn't think nothing of it and Kirsty drove home yes oh, after work because we work at the same place and she was having really bad points to like it was stuttering quite a lot and it was like it could, wouldn't pick up speed and stuff like that so we had to call up the RAC which the photo we have here they were checking it out and everything like that the guy put, did a test it was like there's a little temporary fault he did like didn't do too much because our car's got warranty on it so he's like I'm not going to retouch it so you need to get this checked by specialists what not uh, well, by your garage, uh, which is a Kia, and they will sort it because you've got warranty on it. All these parts that he was pointing out are in warranty and that. So we've got it booked in, 
uh, for that, then he said it should be fine because he took it for a spin and that. He said it drives absolutely fine. But when we get to about 40 to 60, it does a little stutter, which is really weird because it's not done that before. So we've got to take the car up this morning to go to the decorator. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be all right. Um, but if we're not, RAC, we're going to call you again. Um, but we've got the car booked in for Tuesday. So got to get till Tuesday. Then fucking Kia can look at it and sort the fucking problem. So luckily, we're going back to the same garage we brought this car from. So fingers crossed, it's not that much of a job and they can sort it. And uh, it's not going to cost me a lot of money because we've got warranty on it. So any parts that go wrong in their cars, then uh, should be all right. It was really surprising because when we spoke to the REC man, he used to be a, like a mechanic for Kia. And he's like, I never get problems with Kias. They're normally really solid. But the fact your car came through because the age of it, it's got so young and mileage all that bit of jazz i was really surprised and he looked at it he's like i've got nothing fucking i don't have a clue but he was speechless he was like it's a fucking weird one so we don't know so we'll take this out for a drive and we'll see how we go but yeah that's the big stress because the problem we've got now because where we downsized from two cars down to one if this car's like gone what do i do because I've, I've going on hot i've got a trip planned soon i've got to get to work over the next week it's just stress, man. Stress is piling up at the moment like mad. So, yeah. More cold sores coming soon, maybe, people? <laughs> who, don't, who knows? So, yeah, man. Fucking, you try your best not to be stressed. More stress fucking comes. Oh, but we keep going. It is what it is. Journey went smoother than I thought it was going to. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice spook. We've got up to the highs of 60. But we have made it to the wedding place now, so I'm going to go in. Obviously, I can't record much. But are you ready to go and plan everything? Mm -hmm. She's happy. She's ready to go, right? We'll see you in a little bit. I don't know how long this meeting's going to be, so uh, I'll see you in maybe an hour or three. All right, decorator was done. Um, kind of, I did, uh, the running theme of sitting in people's sheds, <laughs> or sun houses, I should say. I didn't think I was going to be thinking I was going to sit on the dining table, but... <laughs> But I no. think they try and separate their businesses by put, host, hosting them in the garden. Yeah, I think that's good. I do like that because you, you kind of have that space away, don't you, in home and work sort of mm -hmm. thing. But yeah, that's all done. Um, I think we're happy with our choices. We now wait for the most fun part now. It's all fun chatting about the decorating and what we want in that. The quote now. <laughs> we wait for that part for that every two weeks. But are you happy with the decorations? I am quite happy with like, the amount we've got out of that. I liked how she knew what she was talking about. Mm. And she had ideas, but she wasn't pushing them on you. Yeah. Which I was worried about. Yeah, she was very open. and stuff like Yeah, that. and obviously she's very experienced. And we got that because the cake lady knew, knew her. And she said, you mm. know, she helped her a lot. So this woman's been doing this for years. Yeah. And knows what she's talking about. I think that's the thing as well I've noticed with this as well. So you've got that connection of people kind of who know each other like, oh we can collab with this person and stuff like that but it makes it helpful because like she can contact the cake person and work with her a little bit yeah and this is the thing i would say for you a lot as well like if you do do obviously weddings and stuff like that if you get recommendations for suppliers use them because especially like this woman we've just seen she's decorated this place out and she's shown us like more photos that she's yes, taken she said that she's so like i thought oh this lady's not probably not done much because there wasn't much in her portfolio but she's yeah. like i'm rubbish at updating and seeing all the stuff she's got on her phone i'm i've just like so relaxed now yeah i'm like oh yeah that's exactly what i wanted <laughs> yeah no she's really like perfect vision i think mm -hmm. we i think the day's gonna look cracking Mm -hmm. I'm very confident in her. She also has come up with like some questions of stuff we need to ask people that we wouldn't have thought of, like how stuff getting moved. Yeah. And I was just like, uh, magic. <laughs> yeah. You'd think, well, I think I just automatically assume that the staff there, but we need to actually ask them. Which yeah, you happy need to, to ask so you know. Yeah, so that's what we got to do now when we uh, get home now and just uh, drop an email and go, like, hey, can people move shit? If not, then we have to rethink. But... Mm hmm. No, it was a very simple trip. I think it only took like... Just under an hour. Yeah, an hour. Not three hours as I thought, but <laughs> where are we going now? Well, we went through a little town, didn't we? Yeah. So I, there's still like... Or did you want to go B&M? You wanted to go B&M, didn't you? But that's like going out of our way. That's not really. I say we still stop in that town and have a little walk around. So we've just pulled up to this place because we drove past it and going to the wedding place. Just look at it, the art, art, architect is absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to go and have a little nose around and see what is around here really quickly because I can't stay too long because we've parked between two drives so need to make this quick. Yeah, it's just like 
Some of the buildings over there are absolutely lovely. Just look at that, man. I think this is nice things with these sort of like places, like the architect architecture is really nice. But I love these houses over here. It's so nice. But yeah, no, like look, just such like a classic traditional church in a way. Love the building. One of those just went down there. Just like look at the brickwork. You just don't get this sort of thing anymore. And Kirsty's taking some photos. It's cute. It is nice. Just look at that, man. The glass. Also, you can't really see it, but you know, in the inside, that's gonna look absolutely nice. Yeah, you are. this is the shot, mate. It's so nice. It's that light behind it, so you can just kind of catch that there. There you go. Make it a little bit darker so you can see that. But gotta say, it's getting quite consistent. I think this is like a few weeks now with the road we've been here. It's the shorts. It's the best. It is the best. We have come for BNM. That's, that's I need the range. Yeah, well, we're not going to range. We don't need range, but we need BNM. <laughs> Kirsty's just pointed this out to me. 69 Do we need any more No, we don't. But 69 feet? Sure. The main reason we have come here. Easter stuff. Look at that basket. I love the bunny basket. I'm surprised you're not getting that. I have no use for it. I have not find any use for it. True. After that drive, we're home. Very loud. That was very loud, not unnecessary. Right, we made it back home. It was a good hour. I think it's four o'clock already, so I'm going to sit down and have a bit of a late lunch because I didn't have lunch before going out because I did because I had breakfast so that's what we're going to do but overall good day outing whatnot. whatnot um, summary of the car though it seems to be when I accelerate doesn't stutter but still going to get checked though because uh, it's worth doing because obviously when you're joining on to dual carriageways and that you've got to put your foot down a bit to kind of pick up a bit of speed but I say I do need to remember as well our car is a small engine I think it's only a 1.0 1.1 so it is a small engine so it will take time to build up it, the power and whatnot but yeah we'll still get a check but overall quite smooth so i'm quite happy with uh how the drive went today but we weren't doing two mega speeds i think the highest we got to was like 60 most of it so but we're now going to chill for the evening and see what we get up to but while i was at a b and M, I found this the gold chocolate bar but it's a billion waiver a wafer a wafer i can never pronounce it right a wafer and I was like, you know what? I love these chocolate bars, but the fact that they've got uh, a waiver one, I'm intrigued. So, you know, what's up incoming? A taste review, because I'm so intrigued. Looks good so far. Oh my God. Mm. Look in the inside. Oh. Mmm. Trust me, when you try this, you're gonna know why. Try this. You like the white, white chocolate mm -hmm. and you like the gold. It is a bit melty, so be aware. It is really good, isn't it? Very creamy caramel. Yeah. That's good. I'm giving that a 9 out of 10. What? A 10 out of 10? A 9.5. It's not the best chocolate thing I've ever had because it makes me question now my 9.5. I've already gone from a 9 up to a 9. I'm gonna stick at 9.5. Ah, it's a good chocolate. Oh, I need more. She, she said it all. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought, like, thought I'd push my luck. She, she might love me, give me a little bit more, but no. And here, this is where the addiction is. Plain GTA RP, mate. Generally, it's addictive. All right, finish playing some RP. I've been on it for like the last like two and a bit hours. Uh, I think it's time to go and have some food and just a break because my brain's just like. <laughs> Grinding money, I'm just like, Ugh. that's the only downside to RP, it's like grinding the money side of it, but you gotta do that part to kind of do the other bit sometimes, but it is what it is. Um, but I'm now in a dilemma what I wanna do. I'm like, I'll go and watch a movie, go and chill downstairs for a bit, and then come back up in a bit, or do I go down, and make some food, and come back up? I think the healthy version would be have a break from the office, or I can come back up. And so that's some content stuff. I need to sort some stuff for Instagram. Um, I need to edit a vlog. And I need to um, just play some other games as well, to be fair. But I just quite fancy just sitting and watching a movie. So I might go and have a little nose and see what's online. Um, Disney or Netflix. I might watch a little something and I might come back up in a bit. So I think a wee break 
from the office is needed. Just come downstairs now and Jesus Christ, the rain is going for it. I don't know if you can see it, but if you're looking at light over there, you can just see it really faintly. It's bloody mad, that's me. You're absolutely bloody goddamn mad. I just came down and just had like a load of stuff. I didn't even know it was raining in my office. But I guess that's what happens when you've bloody got big headphones on. I'm going to show you something now, right, which I think everyone needs to try. Because it's just amazing. BN, BN Vanilla Biscuits. If you've not tried these, go out your way, go and get one. They're normally about a pound. They're amazing. I'm really having a day of like, like not eating well, I think because I've had just such a shit week. I just want to like eat some good stuff, you know. Sometimes you just want to do that, isn't it? And uh, drink some rum. So it's been a few days since the last clip of this vlog um, because I was planning on outroing it but things are just continuing in to the next week. Um, so it's regarding the car basically. Um, we've booked it in for one of the start of the week and it went in today and it's been the case I've just been driving it really slowly like gentle and accelerated and stuff like that and we just thought it was either going to be something to do with fuses or some one of the ter like, cylinders in the car kind of playing up or gearbox we didn't know. They finally got around, well, it was a lot of drama in and out like there was one point they were saying they were going to test the car like get it looked at today even though we're saying they're not going to be able to do it today so you're going to have to come, come pick up the car and take it home sort of thing. And uh, then we got a call back 20 minutes later saying we will be looking at the car today so that was a, a massive headache which was like are we getting our car looked at or not so we had that um then they've actually did decide to look at the car and they have found that um basically it's four cylinders in our car which makes the car run sort of thing only two of them have been working the other two are fucked in the car and they basically turned around to us today and went we suggest you not take your car today because it's dangerous to it's dangerous to and you will cause more problems with, with the car down the line and uh yeah so our car is currently having to wait for a part to arrive to be installed which might take a day it might take two days it takes as long as it needs um, but apparently it's an easy job to do luckily um and where we've got warranty as well on the car because where it's a newer one um it should be the case that part will be free to be installed as well but ah oh, it's just headaches time away can't come sooner really really can't wait to, to get away from it all so hopefully we'll have the car back before the weekend we can go away and just have one hell of a week. Because you know what? After this last two, two, three weeks, I need it. I need time away and just to get away from it all. And recoup myself, then come back to life. It's needed. It really is. It's been stressful. So currently at the moment, we've had... We don't know what's happening for the rest of the week. We're luckily got home tonight. Because um, the car place had a car we could like take for tonight so we can get home. Then we've got to return it first thing in the morning. Because it's a book to go straight out. Uh, for another customer so tomorrow shall be another day of what will happen will we get home we will somehow but hopefully we might be coming home in our own car if the part gets there tomorrow so fingers crossed positive vibes but define meaning you try and stay positive try push on life likes to throw spanners in the works Try not to be too stressed about it because cars are cars man people promise shit like oh it'll be fixed today or whatnot, but you can't predict it, man. You can't predict it. It's just it is what it is. But it's just one of those things. When you're trying to push on a do, like say positive, life just likes to throw bricks at you, man. And this is one of them things in a minute. So keep our heads up. Get to the end of the week, and hopefully we will be going on holiday. Holiday, because if we don't have the car by the, by next week, then <sighs> don't know. As long as we've got it by Monday then we can go away because we're not going away to the afternoon so even if we get it monday morning that'd be fine we can deal with that but it's been a week it really has so i thought i'd show off the this car we've got in a minute because it's really like dark outside as you can see so i can't really show you much at the outside but i'll put a picture here what we've got is a kia sport Targe, i believe it's called and i thought i'd show off the inside as we've got this and it's only to show off in the vlogs so this is basically it it looks like nothing but so hella fancy, you've got the cups here, you've got a nice little part down here, you've got, this is essentially like your gear stick, but it's just like knob base, so 
you just twist that to kind of like reverse neutral drive or say I drive automatic you've got that if you look really closely there it's got the letter P for park um, and it's got all of these like bloody things as well like heated seats and I'm just gonna say all of this here I'll put it up in a minute this is like touch screen so you've got the big screen here you've got screen here but the wheel is the same as my one I've got um, on my Sonic one, uh, my Sonic car. Um, so it's all the same. But this where it gets really interesting. If I can do it. Just like, look at it. It's like, just look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Just like, all of this is touch. Like, if I press, I don't want to press that button because that would kind of dock where I live. But all of this is literally like touch, rear, levels. It's all touch screen. It's absolutely mad. I just find that absolutely bonkers. The fact it's all of that. Then obviously you've got that here as well. It's just really like mad. It's a big car as well. I'll try and, uh, like I say, picture here of it. It's a big car. It's really higher up um, and everything. But I'm glad we got the car that we did because I don't like this one because I'm six foot three, six foot two. And... The leg space is not that great. It feels like it's really closure phobic as well. So it's like this is like really like kind of close up. It's like there's no spatial on it, and I've got the seat back as far as I can go. And I'm just like, man, yeah, nah. but yeah, that's the sort of like thing I'm talking about. Like you get all of that on there. It's like really bloody cool. Oh, the aircon's come on. So you can hear it. Turn that off. <laughs> you can control all the heat, all the AC down here. But I'm just gonna turn that off because i don't want to really play around with it too much but yeah it's basically all the settings and that's the p i was just talking about as well so yeah it's like a nice car but i like my car better so it's been a little bit of a few days since um i recorded that last clip for the uh, wedding um which uh well wedding sign not the actual wedding um and yeah it's quite interesting that more things went into it than i thought especially materials didn't think about materials like if it's going to be see-through it's going to be more thick just a lot of stuff i just didn't really think about and i think a lot of things that Kirsty didn't know about as well so yes so we're still waiting on a quote at the moment it's been like i say it's been a few days since we've gone to the thing so we should hopefully be getting a quote in the next few days next week don't know the person says she's quite busy so she might just say a week or two um but that doesn't matter anyway because we're going on our next adventure anyway so if we get our quote after once we got back up from our next adventure then it is what it is but i'm going to outro this vlog now because i've got to start preparing man i've got an adventure on the horizon which will be in the next vlog where we are going on an ultra holiday which was expensive we've got to travel there and there'll be some cool people there as well some cool people there so um make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss this vlogs i'm gonna say vlogs because i think we're gonna have some quite interesting few weeks of adventures stuff happening we've got a lot of things planned because we're going on this trip which we're going on which is expensive and we're going to be trying to do stuff in that event so we're going on an adventure and we're going to be going on adventure it's like an inception that's why i'm gonna describe it we're going on a adventure but on this adventure we're going to go into like other adventures so it's going to be crazy all right so make sure you subscribe don't forget to ding dong the bell so you don't miss a vlog which we upload every single saturday on this channel uh which we do quite on a on a streak we are i don't know i'll have to have a look like how many weeks we're on now like how many weeks i've been consistent probably most consistent i've had in bloody years unlike my streams ha 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 Sorry about that cut. Totally did not drop my phone when I was trying to do uh, an evil kind of laugh and make fun of myself. Uh, but yes, um, I've got more consistent schedule with uploading when I do the streaming because life is just too busy, man, uh, to do both. So yeah, thank you very much for tuning in and sticking with me every single week. Make sure you leave a like on the way out and I'll see you all soon. Love your faces. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next week where we go on our adventure, our first adventure of 2024. See you soon. Bye-bye.